hi you're welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make this lovely dress okay so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are here to subscribe to my channel please subscribe and also put on your notification bell so guys sit tight and enjoy so i'll be using this ash color fabric okay please pardon me it's not well ironed so the neck width three inches then the shoulder measurement seven and a half inches so from the shoulder we'll go ahead and measure how long as in the length of of the sleeve okay so this one is going to be about um yes i have about 13 or 14 inches there depends on what you want so i want it to be somewhere around the elbow then i measure my bust point which is 12 inches okay so please just watch the video carefully okay so even with that you go ahead and measure your sleeve round how wide you want the sleeve to be so i measure 13 inches for my sleeve round and you know from this 13 inches i will measure the um i'm going to do i'm going to fold the joining allowance and all of that okay so now instead of the 12 inches for my bust point i extended it to 13 inches because of the joining that is coming the shoulder joining and and that okay so now the body measurement i'm using is 11 inches plus 5 inches is okay the extra allowance is going to be 5 inches you can make yours 4 if you don't want it to be too much 4 inches and you know if either the bust or the hip anyone that is the widest that's the measurement you're going to use okay so the same thing you know this 11 inches plus 5 inches is equal to 16 inches so i measure that around the the whole bodies okay Going to be a straight gown, you know, it's a booboo. So now go ahead and connect this. Okay, so just making sure that I have equal measurement all around. Now I'll connect it with my ruler okay now you know there, there will be an opening i'm going to open the center front so i went ahead and add half inch um extra allowance you know this pattern is for the front and i'm going to open it up so because of that the joining the folding and all of that so i added 1.5 inches to the front pattern please remember to do that if not it's going to affect the actual measurement of the bodies now cut out the sleeve just together like that then from the shoulder from the sleeve i'll measure one inch and connect it to the neckline just for, for our shoulder slope so that the shoulder can fall properly so go ahead and trim it out carefully okay so that is it then we'll go ahead and use the same pattern to cut out the front and to cut out the back okay so i've already done that now the neck uh, line for the back so i extended the neck line to three and a half and the neck depth to 1.5 inch you can make it two inches okay then we'll cut out the neck first the back neck first so this is it remember the neck depth it can be one and a half or two inches so now okay so since i used the same front piece to cut out the back remember i added um remember i added one and a half to the front so now I'll go ahead and remove the one and a half inch from the back because I'm not going to cut the back open. The center back is going to be closed. So I have to remove this from it. Like I said, I added one and a half to the front piece in order for the, the joining uh, allowance for the front. So since I use the same front pieces to cut the back, so I need to remove the one and a half from the back. I hope you understand my point. Okay. 
thickness and we are done with the back so back to the front the neckline you know it's a stylish v so i measure eight inches then the v is not so straight it's curved just like so so you connect it to the shoulder carefully so you carefully remove this Okay, so that is it for the front neckline. Then, now I need to measure where the front slit is going to stop. Okay, so I'll be using 42 inches somewhere below the knee. Okay, so that's where the down slit will stop. There's an opening, so it will stop, but before that, I have to open the hole of the front. I have to open the hole of the center front. So just follow me carefully. Okay, so I went ahead to tape each side of the front piece with a bias. You can see I've turned it with a bias tape. And I made sure the you can see the way it is. I know I, I guess we know how to use a bias tape. But nevertheless, I have a video on it. So each piece of the front pattern, I turn it with the bias tape. Okay? And this is the back neckline. I use the same bias tape also. So now I have to bring the two front pieces together and attach it. So now I place it right side to right side. So you're going to secure it with a pin. Okay, so that is where my um, down slit is going to stop. I hope you understand. So now, I'll measure the neckline. Remember how deep you want the neckline to be. So for now, since I measure 8 inches, so since that will be joining at the shoulder, so I, I went down to 9 inches. So this is it. I've joined the, the neck. I only joined the center front. And that's the hem, you know, the sleeve also, I turn it with the bias. And that's the slit. So, I only join the center by half inch. Okay. So, this is what the front looks like. I've joined the shoulder also. Then we'll go ahead and join the sleeve together with the bodies. Okay. So, you go and stitch whether half inch or three quarter inch or one inch. Whatever works for you. So, now we are done. Actually, we are done. It's simple. Okay. So look at it. So if that you notch there or you reduce your sleeve, give it a good press. Then that's what it means. And that's the side seam. I've done the aiming also. So I hope you find this video helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if I yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Okay. So also put on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. So guys, this is it. So just give it a good press. I don't want the ironing to delay my work. Thank you for watching. Bye.